Hey everyone, this is John Smith, also known as Light Sport Man. Today I want to do a quick review of the CX-2 uh, flight computer, flight calculator. Uh, the one I have here is from ASA. Um, I want to say some great things about it. This is actually the flight computer itself. And I like, you know, you could take this off. Um, this is the box that came in, as you see. It's the 2 xa by computer. Um, it's authorized. You could use this computer on all FA uh, but then exams. So so you could actually bring this into the room with you. Uh, uh, one thing I really liked about this uh, this computer is that it has timers and clocks. I like that it has uh, clocks from Zulu time to local time. Um, it also has a stop uh, watch that actually goes uh, goes up and down, I believe. Um, it also has like 36 different uh, features, 40 different type of aviation cal calculations in it. Uh, it prompts you, it's very easy to use, uh, but then I, I got mine, I think I paid uh, 70 or 80 bucks for it. I gotta say, I would highly recommend it. I like it. Uh, but then I got it to use on my FAA test, and I gotta say, I only used it for one or two questions, but I did have it there available. One thing I like, uh, you turn it on, and you know, you can see the country, you could actually see my GoPro in the side of it and that, but but you could very easily do calculations. Um, one thing I like, and plus, I don't know how good you can see the menus. Is that it has these menus? Uh, you could do for for the altitude, for the airspeed, for fuel, for planning leg, for 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 our active leg, and for gliding. Um, I really like this. W one thing, let's just say, like if I go into active plan and I'm gonna land into a runway, and I know the wind is from 170. And it's only four knots, let's say. And my runway is runway three. Uh, so now right there, I don't know if you could see it good. It actually tells me that my wind is coming from the right at 2.6 knots. And I actually have a tailwind of three knots. So right there, I would know not to go into that runway. So let's say my airport has runway 21 on the other side of that three. So I put in my 21, enter. Okay, now you can see the 2.6 is from my left, minus means the left, and the negative three means it's a headwind. So it's coming from my head. Um, again, this has some great functions. Like I know one of these features is the unknown wind that I actually used on my FAA uh, thing, but you put in your heading, your ground speed, your course, as we, and it kind of tells you where the wind and speed is. Um, uh, it does uh, ground speed calculations. If I was uh, flying for 0 0.30 minutes and, and I got 20 miles, my ground speed is right there. It shows me the 40. Um, I like that uh, distance flown. You could do the same thing. 30 at a speed of 40 knots. I went my 20, and that's in this menu. There's so many options. Plan. You could actually get your heading and your ground speed. So say that I'm going on a flight, and I think I should be flying at a cost of 200. And the speed I'm going to be going at is 80 knots. And my swim, wind is from 170 and it's 5. It will actually tell me what my heading should be and what my uh, ground speed should be, if you could see. It's very easy to use this calculator. Uh, but then again, I highly recommend it. And again, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. This is John Smith, also known as Lightspot Man. Thank you.